Okay, so we've got our project still set up the way it was in the last uh, lesson, and we're going to actually, because we've got everything pinned, we're going to have to unpin it, and that's going to be part of this lesson. So select everything on your stage, and at any given time, if you like, you can go to Object Unpin All or Object Unlock All. So that's kind of handy. So we're going to unpin all our stuff here, because in this particular lesson, we're going to take a look at arranging and aligning. Okay, so if we take a look at the aligning feature, let's send all our buttons kind of out of whack here. Okay, so none of them are aligned. Um, we've got our alignment toolbar that we opened up earlier, and if you don't see it, go to View, Toolbars, and make sure that alignment is checked. And all we have to do to align these, because of the automated features in the Align and Distribute thing here, is to go ahead and select the buttons, so we'll just drag around them all, and we'll choose one of the alignment features. In this case, we'll choose the horizontal. As you can see, it just automatically aligns them all together. If we choose the distribute function now as well, it creates a... oh, sorry, we had it set to page still, so it actually distributed them to the page. If we wanted to distribute them to themselves, we could actually reselect them and repress that button. And again, I'll press the align horizontal as well. So that's basically what alignment does. It aligns objects. You can align objects horizontally or vertically, and if you have this to page selected, it will align them to the page itself as opposed to just to each other. So for example, we had our button objects, which we put out of whack, and if we select them all and select the alignment, it aligns them to each other. But if we put them back out of whack and select them all, and then choose the to page option with the alignment, you'll see that what it actually does is aligns them to the center of the page. So that's kind of handy. It's a great way to lay things out and uh, basically I use them all the time and it saves me a lot of time. Again there I just align them to the page just to show you the difference. Okay, so I'm going to deselect the page and I'm going to really quickly by moving our buttons in and selecting align and distribute recreate our button bar. So I'll move that over here and we'll take a look at the Arrange feature now. Arranging is somewhat the same as laying out. However, it's done, if you like, in three dimensions. So that's the Z order. So in other words, if we have a series of objects, so I'm going to move my buttons here, and I'm going to stack them up. We're going to do a little experiment. You can see that these objects, as they move down, they also get closer to us. They're stacked, if you like. That's called Z order. So for example, in this particular example, the Z order would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or reverse if you like, 1 being the closest one, 5 being the furthest one away. The, the key thing here is that you understand the principle, not that we have a um, specific way to label it. Okay, so if we go into our objects pane here, and I'm going to pin it, and I'm going to actually get rid of my properties pane, you can see that there's a, a Z order to things in here. For example, button 5 is set the furthest away. We can actually just drag and drop them here in this palette, or this pane, sorry, and create different orders. So, for example, if I bring button 3 to the front, you can see it overlaps everything. If I bring it to the back by dragging it down, you can see it is overlapped by everything. The beauty of the buttons in Autoplay Media Studio 5 is the subtlety with which the shadows interact. As you can see here, it looks truly 3D. And if you guys remember, I made these buttons in Photoshop. There's no 3D involved here at all. You can get really, really good intricate shadow and glow effects by doing this. At any rate, another way to move things around, and I'm going to move this back to the middle by dragging it. That's my favorite way, is by dragging them in the Objects pane. But another way to do it is to go to the Object Arrange area here. And you have a variety of options. You can bring objects forward, send them backward, send them to the far back or the closest front. So for example, to bring that object to the front, I would choose this or type the shortcut key shift control up arrow and it would bring that object to the front. Additionally, there is under the view toolbars area an arrange menu. And if we bring it up, I'm just going to drag it down so it's beside our alignment menu. And that's usually how I keep my workspace. It's very handy. Just by clicking on this, we can actually shift it to the back bring it to the front or send it back one layer at a time and bring it forward one layer at a time. So that's the arrange function and it's pretty important as you can see here for creating a variety of different layout effects. 
and you'll find that by combining the arrange function with the alignment and distribution functions it adds a lot of power to your layouts and it allows you to get together a really fast workflow and create really intricate stuff really fast.